For this demo, I want to explore how LLMs can help explain how to connect to data. So let's pretend that you've just been hired as a data analyst for a stuffed animal company called the Maven Fuzzy Factory, and you need to start creating a report in Power BI that's based on their existing data and technology platforms. You've been given access to the company's MySQL database, and you need to get data from the database into Power BI, but you're not quite sure how to do it. Plus, you're the first analyst that's been hired, so you don't have anybody else that you can really ask or have an existing report to reference to see how the connection works. So let's see if ChatGPT can help us out here. So I'm gonna use a prompt here, and it basically says, hey, I've just been hired as a data analyst for Maven Fuzzy Factory, and I need to import data from their MySQL database into Power BI. I have access to MySQL, but I'm not sure how to connect. Can you help me? So let's see what GPT says. Hey, good start here, right? Of course. Right, I can help you connecting Power BI to MySQL and then import data from MySQL into Power BI. You can follow these steps. All right, so step one, open Power BI desktop. Step two, in the home tab, click on get data. In the get data window, we're gonna select MySQL database from a list of data sources. If you don't see it, you can use the search bar to find it. It's a great tip there. It's not always easy to find exactly where some of these data connections live. So once you find it, click connect to proceed to the MySQL database connection settings. In the MySQL database window, enter the necessary information to connect to your MySQL database. So server name, the database name, we're gonna go through any sort of authentication methods that need to happen, right? And depending on the type of authentication method, whether it's Windows or database, that's gonna dictate the username or password. So again, great stuff here. And then after providing the required information, we're gonna click connect to establish that connection. And then Power BI will attempt to connect to MySQL. If the connection is successful, you'll see a preview window of the tables available. Step eight here is that you can select the tables or the views that you wanna import by selecting the corresponding boxes next to them. It says here you can also write custom SQL queries by selecting the advanced option checkbox so you can do this, but you need to do it before you get to this point. So a little bit of a nuanced piece there. Um, and it's just a little bit out of the proper order of operations. So next you can click the load button to import the data into Power BI, or alternatively, you can choose to transform the data and then apply any sort of data transformations before you load the data into Power BI. So from there, Power BI will import the data from the MySQL database and display it in the query editor. And then you can perform further transformations, clean the data or combine it. Like we said, that's the result of this transform data option. And then once you've done everything that you need to in terms of transformations, you can click close and apply and that'll load the data into Power BI. So that's awesome. That's a very thorough response. Let's see what Google Bard has to say. So again, we'll paste our prompt here. All right, and let's run through this. So awesome, they can help us out too. So step one, download and install Power BI Desktop. Open it up, click on the Get Data button, select the MySQL database from the list of data source connectors. Again, we don't have that detail about using the search box here, um, but it says this will open a dialog box where you can enter the details of your MySQL database. Here are the types of details that you'll need to enter, the server, the database, your username and password. Again, so those basic connection credentials that you'll need. Click the connect button, and this will connect Power BI Desktop to your MySQL database. Select the tables that you wanna import. Again, Google Bard doesn't mention this piece about being able to write custom SQL. Again, it is an option. It happens before this step, but again, there's nothing wrong about what they've said so far. Then click the import button. This will import the selected tables into Power BI Desktop, and then you can kind of create a report or a dashboard once the tables have been imported. So not too bad here. Bard kind of jumps to this, hey, import the data and then create a report or a dashboard from it. Again, there may not be anything wrong with that. You could just directly import your data and then start creating your reports and dashboards. But typically, we like to head into the query editor first to perform any sort of needed transformations and then load the data into the model to then build out our reports and dashboards. Let's actually head over to Power BI Desktop and we're gonna quickly run through these steps ourselves to see exactly how this works. 
All right, so let's follow those steps that JetGPT outlined. Again, we're gonna come up here and click Get Data. All right, so once the Get Data window loads, you can either search for the specific connection, or since this is a database, we can come into Database, click MySQL, and then we wanna connect. All right, so we've clicked Connect. Next in the MySQL database window, we wanna enter the server name. So it will enter our server name and it's local, so 127.0.0.1. And then the database that we wanna to connect to is our Maven Fuzzy Factory Development Database. Uh, like I was mentioning, the advanced options here, this is where you can write in those SQL, those custom SQL statements to customize the data that's imported. It doesn't happen later, it actually happens at this step. So again, small miss, uh, but overall not super impactful. So we'll click OK. All right, so now we're down to the step where Power BI is displaying a navigator window with a list of tables that are available. And let's say we want to connect to our orders table. All right, we see the preview window here. We can click Load or Transform. Load is going to load this directly to the data model. And Transform is going to bring us into the query editor. So let's click Transform. And now from here, we can do any sort of transformations that we want, right? So maybe we want to update this date column, right? If there were any other sort of transformations that we wanted to add, we could do those here. And then once we're done, click close and apply. And that's going to load this into our Power BI desktop report. And so that's it, right? And so ChatGPT and Google Bard were both very helpful in explaining how to do this. And basically, they both got it right. And also, this was a very easy example because MySQL is very well documented and very well known. But what if you stepped into a situation where you needed to connect to a data source that you had never heard of or were just unfamiliar with? So we're going to head back over to ChatGPT. And here, I want to ask how to connect to a data source called Delta Sharing. All right, I actually searched Power BI and I, I'm not familiar with this. So let's see what it says. Can you help me connect Power BI to Delta Sharing? So as my knowledge is cut off after September 2021, Power BI does not have native integration with Delta Sharing. However, you may be able to establish a connection between Power BI and Delta Sharing by leveraging some workarounds. So here's a general approach, right? Set up a Delta Sharing server, explore the sharing connectors, access custom connectors in Power Query, import data into Power BI, ChatGPT isn't quite sure how to do this. Um, I can actually see that this is an active connector in Power BI. So again, you get a limitation here where the knowledge is cut off after September 2021. So let's see if Bard can do any better. All right, sure, I can help you connect Power BI to Delta Sharing. Here are the steps involved. Download and install the latest version of Power BI. Open Power BI Desktop. Click Get Data. Search for Delta Sharing and then enter the following details in the dialog box, the endpoint URL, your bearer token, and then click on connect. And then from here, you're probably gonna follow that same exact process that we just saw with MySQL. You're gonna select the tables that you wanna import into Power BI, then you can either import or transform them, and then create your report or your dashboard after you've imported that data. All right, so this is a pretty helpful response here. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this connector or this endpoint, but it gives me a couple of things to start off exploring. I understand that I need to go in and get data, check out this connection. I need an endpoint URL and a bearer token. If I don't know what these values are, this gives me two very specific things to go and talk to, you know, maybe my IT team or another team about to kind of understand exactly what they are. All right, so these are just some great things and some tools and strategies that you can use when you're trying to connect to a data source or an endpoint that you've never connected to before. Hey there, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.